the PSE Carbon Levitate Gear Review. Let's get into it. Our adventures and our lives depend on equipment to perform. So we put gear to the test and share the raw truth no matter the results. With that, enjoy this no holds barred, no BS gear review. PSE Carbon Levitate S2 is offered in 25 to 29 inch draw, 60, 70, or 80 pounds, has an axle to axle of 32.25 inches and a brace height of 5 and 3 quarter inches. The PSE 4.1 pounds. 70.3. You know, I think out of all the bows I'm testing, it probably has the most aggressive draw cycle and it definitely dumps into that back wall the hardest. Uh, however, once it's in that back wall, man, it almost feels like you got to push that string forward in order to get it out of the back wall, which is a crazy feeling. Um, it has a really solid back wall, especially for being, you know, cable stops. It's, I mean, you can see there, there's a tiny bit of movement, but not really much. So all in all, pretty great draw cycle, but definitely the most aggressive out of the five. Ninety three point four, ninety three point nine, ninety three. Uh, poses absolutely no issues. Easy to draw back. Easy to hold the bow. Everything like that. Once again, poses no issues. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Not a whole lot of movement there. Um, again, I think it's gonna have a lot to do with uh, your draw cycle. An inch and a quarter. Three and three quarters. That one is two and three quarters, and that one's two and a half. These two arrows are an inch and a half apart. These two are three and three quarters, and these two are four and a half. I used the S2 model because I have a 27 inch draw length. It's no surprise that the PSE was the lightest out of all the bows I brought into the field, which made it easier to carry around on my hunts. I appreciated the warm touch that the carbon riser offered and the size of the hand grip. However, I struggled with consistent shots with the PSE. This is partially due to my inconsistencies as an archer and the fact that the PSE has the smallest brace height out of all the bows tested. I noticed this especially when I was sighting in the bow with fixed blade broadheads and when in the red zone on animals as I missed multiple deer with the PSE. When hunting out of a tree stand, I really appreciated how lightweight the bow was and it made it easier to maneuver in the tree. 
The dump into the back wall was the most aggressive, but that lent to producing the fastest arrow speeds out of all the bows tested, which equates to smaller pin gaps and more energy. Along with the arrow speeds, I appreciated the ease of adjustability offered from the cam system on the PSE. After all the adventures with the PSE, I never hit my mark on any animals and went home with tag suit. If you would like to see all the results from the tests in graph form, head on over to www.battlemountainmedia.com and click on gear reviews and select 2022 head-to-head -head bow test. The PSE Carbon Levitate is so light, it's kind of mind-blowing to be honest with you. You pick that bow up and you're wondering what to expect, well, here's what you can expect. A super solid back wall for being a cable stop, very comfortable grip, almost completely dead in the hand and lightning fast, and it holds well when you're on target.